Shalom Kolami. In my processing of yesterday's horrific events at Robb Elementary School in Texas, I attended a class that I've been taking with the Rabbinical Assembly. During this class, we study a text together, we share intentions for the day, and we create art directed by the feelings that are brought up by our discussions. The class is called Art as a Spiritual Practice. In today's class, as it was clear, we all needed to respond to the yet again unthinkable act that had occurred. Our teacher shared a text from the Zara Kodesh. In it, Rabbi Naftali Tzvi of Rapshitz in the early 1800s teaches something that he learned from his teacher about what we actually heard at Mount Sinai. He says that we all, act all we actually heard was the first Aleph of the first word of the Ten Commandments. God is trying to say, Ani Adonai Elohecha, I am Adonai your God, but all that comes out is the first Aleph. And how is it possible that we heard that Aleph since the Aleph is silent? What we actually experience is what it says later in Deuteronomy, that God spoke to us face to face. Because God's name Yud He Vav He, the Tetragrammaton, is made up the same uh, made up of the same thing as an Aleph. God's name in Gematria is a total of twenty six. Yud being ten, two He's being ten, and a Vav being six. The letter Aleph is also made up of two Yuds, two Yuds, and a Vav, twenty and six, twenty six. The two yuds and avav also hits at the face, hints at the face of a human being. Two eyes resemble the two letter yuds, and a nose between them looks like a letter vav. In every human face, there is an aleph. In every human's face, God's face. Then it came to creating our art. After the 15 minutes allowed for art making, we reflect on what we made, what we literally see, colors and shapes, and what it meant to us. Where was our heart? What did our heart need to say in reflect, reflecting on our text? Here is what I drew. And here is what I wrote. Circles, 19 of them. I meant to draw 21, but I lost count at some point. Black, yud eyes, vav nose, no mouth. Surrounded by so many faces in red. These faces cannot speak. They are God's face, God trying to get out one syllable, each face an entire universe, only for each universe to be silenced. There is no crying out ani Adonai Elohecha when they have no future, no mouth. When they are cut off too early and hang in a world unfinished. Amongst them are so many others whose lives have been cut short. Who is speaking for these mouthless faces of God? With that, I'd like to now offer a prayer for the children and the teachers, victims of the school shooting at Robb Elementary School, Uvalde, Texas, by Rabbi Naomi Levy. Our hearts are breaking, God. As we mourn innocent children and their teachers, the loss is overwhelming. Send comfort and strength, God, to grieving parents, to siblings, family, and friends in this time of shock and mourning. Shield them from despair. Send healing to the school children who are lost and frightened, whose eyes witnessed unfathomable horrors. Ease their pain, God. Let their fears give way to hope. Let their cries give way once more to laughter. Bless us, God. Work through us. Turn our helplessness into action. Teach us to believe that we can rise up from this tragedy with a renewed faith in the goodness of our society. Shield us from indifference and from our tendency to forget. Open our hearts. Open our hands. Innocent blood is calling out to us to act and pass the laws that will stop gun violence. 
remind us that we must commit ourselves to prevent further bloodshed with all our hearts and souls. Teach us perseverance and dedication. Let us rise up as one in a time of soul searching and repair so that all children can go to school in peace, God. Let them be safe. God of the brokenhearted, God of the living, God of the dead, gather the souls of the victims into your eternal shelter. Let them find peace in your presence, God. Their lives have ended, but their lights can never be extinguished. May they shine on us always and illuminate our way. Amen. <laughs>